Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to cut a fluorescent tube, preferably a tube that no longer works. The reason for wanting to do so might be various. For example, in my case, I need to cut tubes in order to build a CO2 laser. For this project, you will need, of course, the tube that you want to cut, a piece of wood with two nails like this, some pliers, a glass cutter, some resistance wire. Uh, this is uh, nichrome and the gauge is 36. You may use uh, a different size, but I find that this one works pretty well. Okay. And you will also need a uh, power supply. Uh, about 12 volts it can be a little bit less or, or a little bit more um, you will have to adapt it will depend on the length of your wire and also on the gauge okay but it doesn't have to be very precise so you have some freedom you have to adapt okay and as a power supply uh, here I'm going to use uh, this thing but don't be scared you don't need to use that uh, you can use a battery pack or uh, any power adapter. Just make sure that your power supply can deliver at least 500 milliamps. So the first thing that we want to do is to empty the tube from the gas that it contains because the pressure inside is lower than the atmospheric pressure. And if we try to cut the, uh, the tube like this, uh, it may just shatter because of the difference of pressure. So uh, in order to empty the, the tube from uh, the gas that it contains, I suggest to wear some goggles in case something bad happen. Okay. And also we may want to use a rag in order to hold the tube. Okay. Just in case if it breaks badly. Okay. So use your pliers and pull on the electrodes, okay, remove this um, end, shouldn't be too hard, but try to be gentle, don't put too much stress on the tube. So here you see there's part of the glass here so simply break that thing and that will that will um, that will be enough to empty the tube from the gas that it contains so I'm going to break that part ready done okay now don't breathe the the gas that may escape from it because uh, it contains vapors of mercury, which are um, which are bad. But uh, doing this outside is not that bad. It's not bad for the environment because the the, the amount of mercury pressure uh, of mercury vapors that it contains is really really small. So in order to get intoxicated, you would have to do this hundreds of thousands of times okay so here it's okay now um, we will want also to get rid of the, the this white powder that is in the tube and this will be easy to wash off once the tube will be cut okay so let's move to the next step so now we want to scratch the tube and in order to do this uh, we need to to make to to rest the tube on a hard surface so like this on this wall but you want to put it higher so that you can hold it and turn it and i will use my rag in order to hold it in case it shatters and I'm going to put a wooden block like this so that I can turn it. Now, uh, 
have my glass cutter. Um, it's, I need also to rest the cutter on something hard because if I just hold it like this, I will move and I will not make a nice cut. So I'm going to put an extra piece of wood here so that I can rest my cutter on the tube. Okay, so try to hold it firmly. Don't press too hard uh, in order to avoid the, the tube to shatter, but you need to hold it firmly. Okay, so. It's not easy. Oops, and I missed it. No problem, we can try again. All right, let's try again. And I will try to be more gentle. So. Almost there. scratch that's what we need okay doesn't have to be very deep it's just enough for the next step you're going to take your resistance wire and attach it to one of the nails and yeah and make a loop oops what am I doing yes make a loop like this around the scratch that you made And try to put it as much as you can on the groove. Okay. And try to put some tension in it. You don't want this wire to be too loose. Okay, so try to put the wire as, as much as you can into the groove. It's not very easy. And now you have to make sure that, let me try to zoom a little bit on it make sure that the loop oh, it goes out of focus right. make sure that you leave a gap you don't want the um, the part of the wire that moves into this direction you don't want it to touch the one that is here because otherwise when you will run a current the current will take the short path and it will just go from there to the other wire without going around the tube okay so make sure that the loop is actually not closed that the that the, um, the well you got it okay so make sure that it's not closed so now that um, my wire is in the groove I plugged the, um, my power supply, the, the polarity doesn't matter, 
and uh, let me turn it on so right now the wire should be quite hot uh, in order to check this i can use my homemade flash cotton by the way if you want to know how to make this flash cotton just look in the description of this video and you will find my tutorial so let me put it in contact with the wire yep you see the wire is hot and this causes a stress in the in the groove of the glass and in order to cause some more stress we can put a few drops of water which will coat it off fast and then let's wait for it to warm up again and then add some more water oh, and that's it the tube is cut all right now it's not a super clean cut but the point is that there is no crack so now we can make a very nice cut simply by uh, sanding the, the tube. Alright, so now off camera I cut the other end of the tube using exactly the same procedure as I just showed. And now what we want to do before cleaning that white powder is to make a very clean cut, okay, because here it's, it's not very nice. So, well, all we have to do is to use some sandpaper and here I'm going to start with uh, the P150 and make sure that you use a flat surface, so I use this wooden block to sand my tube and well, you have to do this for a while. And well, it works better if you use some water. So, you only have to be very patient. And here is the final result, a very clean cut and that we can now safely touch. So now we need to remove that white powder. In order to clean that white powder, we'll start by using simply a jet. <laughs> Okay, so well, nothing is gone. So, what you can do is to use a paper towel, a wet paper towel, stuff it into the tube, and push it inside several times I don't know if we can see on the camera yeah you see so just do this one million times and your tube will be clean so apparently I didn't put enough paper towels so it needs to be a little bit tight, but of course not too tight in order not to break the glass. But yeah, you see now, it's much better. And here is the final result, a clean cut tube. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Register to my channel, and I would appreciate if you can share it on your social media. Thanks for watching.